It's week one of the NFL, and there's no love lost between these AFC West foes. It's the Golden Eagles and the Nighthawks under the lights on Sunday night. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the South American country of Argentina and its capital city, Buenos Aires. Tonight, it's the Sunday night opener for the new NFL season between the Mexico City Golden Eagles taking on the Nighthawks of Buenos Aires. With my good friend Charles Davis in the booth, I'm Brandon Gordon, and the moment has finally arrived, CD. It's time to begin a new NFL season. Partner, there's no hiding my excitement as I got ready this morning. I could not wait to get here for this game. Imagine what it's like out there on the field for those players, though. OTAs, training camp, preseason, it's all led to this moment when they officially kick this one off to get the season underway. It's the marquee game of opening weekend, and off we go on a Sunday night on EA Sports. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a glance here at the vet. He's got a lot of years under his belt in the National Football League. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Throwing again. Smart. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. A big play there. 47 yards. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What, does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, Makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. A full start backs him up five. First and 15. Looking to throw. Smart. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. Operating from the gun. Smart. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Back to throw. Smart. In trouble, and he's taken down. It'll go as a sack, a loss of three, and in turn, it takes us to a fourth down. So they bring out their punter. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Heavy set out there on third and one. 
to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Dillon complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football. And they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4 of 4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. Feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. It's Dylan again. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. That one nearly 30 yards. 29 officially. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play... Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving. Scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll look to throw here on first down. And that'll be complete to Dillon. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's second down. Brings up second and five at the 17-yard line. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now Luma. Again on the ground, again it's Wall. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make the play ourselves and maybe change things up. Now a second and ten. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 and the 19. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards, and that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. So it's third and long, and defensively, not a real surprise. They're in the dime. They'll look to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. And that sack there, that likely brings out the field goal unit, so they might have to settle for three here on their opening drive. They did some nice things, getting things started there, moving the ball downfield, but taking that sack on third down, that lets the air out of the momentum balloon just a little bit. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and that'll make it 3-0 here in the first. A lot of energy in this building tonight, but the opening drive produces three, maybe quiets them just a bit, at least momentarily. Just a little, right? That's all you're asking for, right? Things just getting started. You know they haven't taken the momentum totally here, but at the same time, they like what they've done here in the early going. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Off the play fake. Smart. And he will 
slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Nine yards that time. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls, or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. Fights him off. And he'll get this up to about the 40. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. They go play action here on first down. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. Well, I mean, who would have thought this? A team based in South America, this inaugural season, these folks so excited and with good reason. This is the NFL continuing to show that it's not just an American pastime, really becoming a global game. And what an addition to the league this will be. So a P.I. call going to cost them there defensively. What did you see? Well, I think it's the right call, partner, because sometimes we'll see officials kind of let them play. But by the letter of the law, that's definitely a penalty. Yeah, a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Brings up third and seven. Looking to throw. Smart. I oh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and that will tie us at 3-3. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32-yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, it just has a different feel, doesn't a it? A different feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Balled it to 26, second and seven. It may be only a gain of three yards, but that back, he deserves a lot more credit on the play. That could have easily been stopped at the line, but his vision and his determination. And he can't escape, and down he goes. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Three, three, a tight one after one on EA Sports. On to the second quarter, Mexico City in possession. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 16. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be the call to the punt team as it's fourth down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. 
Take it at the 37. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Buenos Aires about set for another try on offense. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. On third down, smart. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble and gets him a first down. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on the keeper the moment it revealed itself. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll try the left side. Bright gave a glimpse of his power, but not a whole lot of space. Down at the 30. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Off play action. Smart. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10 yard line. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. A chance for a first touchdown drive of the year. It's first and goal. Throwing on first down. Smart on the move. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Not the first and goal play they drew up. Multiple defenders in to bring him down to the ground. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he's going to go down again. And while all of that was going on with a sack, it appears, unfortunately, we have an injured player. Boy, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So instead of forcing the field goal, it'll be first and goal. Yeah, the force was trying to make something happen that just didn't need to, right? I mean, the plays happen, let it go. It's over. Instead, he creates a penalty. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Holding offense. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Up the middle they go. Bright. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Throw left side complete. That's Wilkins. A nice job to get 11 out of that pass play, but now they face a third and goal. Operating from the gun, Barker to the end zone, but it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. And his kick is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. to three. So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. Got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. 
Uh, Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Just a gain of a couple there, and that's going to bring up second down. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the 23 yard line. Here's Ward. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? But you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field. They're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass him with a running play. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing to start the drive. Green. Pressure comes and down he goes. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there. And it's second down. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Back to throw. Green. Buying time to his left. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's four. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play. And he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it. And he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And take it right on the 30. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Two yards to go, second down. At the 43 yard line. On play action, they'll throw. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. The offense on third down tonight. Two for five to this point. Here it's third and two. They'll drop the throw. Right side catch. This is Gates. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. Now this looks like a roughing call. Now they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent, but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. Oh, and that is incomplete. We're following the play here, now we've got an injury. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. Here's second and ten. They run it with Ward. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. If they want it first, they need to get the football to the 32. 
two here on third down. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. What about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. That also a career-long kick for the veteran, Charles. Yeah, how about what he just got done there? We always knew he had a big leg, but how about everything coming together perfectly on that one? Great leg swing, and bang that one through. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Buenasari is about set for another try on offense. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is... And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes inbounds there. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Looking to throw. Green. And he will find his man on the outside. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. They'll try the left side. Great. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29 yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Green on first down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Back to throw. Green. And incomplete. A drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Operating from the gun. Green. That is caught inside the five. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. A nice completion there for the first down. And Charles, you think about the quarterbacks of recent vintage that have been thrust into action week one. It's no guarantee of future success, but we sure have seen some good ones. We certainly have, partner. How about Joe Burrow with the Bengals in 2020? He was excellent. No bottled up fumble. It's out. It's loose. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defense. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. To throw is green. Looking to throw on second down. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Third down throw incomplete as well. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything. Forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. And his kick here is good. 
So the long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. This offense back to work now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, they may try and work their way into field goal range and try to tie up this ball game. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Throwing the out route and complete. It's Townsend. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Now back to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now Ward. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll look to throw here. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. They're going to look to throw. That's Ward, complete right side. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Wide open receiver complete. And touchdown. A great play there as the first half is winding down. And the Golden Eagles have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So they're able to capture the lead here just before halftime. And not only that, they get the ball to start the second yeah, half. That's right. This is almost like basketball down the stretch, right, where you get the... Yeah, I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with Previous all reviews coming from review. the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And his kick is good. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, He's still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you... Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. He's inside the 20, and he takes it the distance. No time remaining. No cloth on the field. Yeah, no flags, and it's a kickoff return to end the first half. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Extra point right down the middle. And that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in our initial Sunday night telecast of the new season. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, 
Time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. And what's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more. But I established a running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think they get back in balance. It'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Down to the 10. Touchdown. A big play there. 79 yards. And the Golden Eagles come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? Just go long, <laughs> man. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. Point after, right down the middle. And that will tie our game here in the third. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. 11 yards there, first down. Now a handoff up the middle. Bright. They'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Looking to throw. Smart. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. Off the play fake. Smart. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And all the way down inside the 20. It's a game of 35. When you get into the second half of the tie ball game, you start realizing that every play takes on a bigger significance, and this is pretty significant right here. This is where you start putting the pressure on that secondary, and that's a job well done there. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Up the middle they go. Bright. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. 
In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, the guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. A field goal would get them the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. And his kick is indeed good. And they have regained the lead. So a response there to the touchdown, the opening drive of this third quarter as they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think you'll take that because obviously you'd like to be able to match them touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Well, certainly not his best throw that time, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational, CD. That is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. And this one is right down the middle. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. So it's another field goal here. He may need to ice his leg after this one. That's now five field goals converted in this game alone. Yeah, get the trainer. They're going to need this guy. And they've needed every single one of the field goals he's made, too. If they're going to get out of here with a win, I say he gets a game ball. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. It's a big play there on third down. 64 yards. 
So I think it's about time I took my eyes off of the secondary or the guys with the football. How about the offensive line on that snap? They took care of business. Absolutely, and when he can stay in the pocket like that, you're going to get big plays like we just saw. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Looking to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Townsend. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll make it second down. Brings up second and three at the five-yard line. On the ground with Ward. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. There'll be some contact going on. And it's caught. Touchdown. From three yards out. And the Golden Eagles are an extra point away from capturing the lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. The extra point splits the uprights, and that will put them on top here in the third. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. For the Buenos Aires offense back out now. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that, wanted that, that were happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. On second down, Bright. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Yeah, this won't be enough. Stop the yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. And on now is the punter as he's on to kick it away. Forty two yards on the punt, just two on the return. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it, especially with that. I love that rocking and rolling because the explosions on offense are happening. So that's going to get the crowd going. They're loving that. But defensively, they just can't get it together to get the stops they've needed in order to help increase their margin. They've got to find a way, but you're not counting on it. It's exactly what you said. Can't miss your turn. Can't miss your opportunity. Yeah, they're going for another opportunity now. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. He'll drop to throw. Can't get away, and he's taken down. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. One thing that I liked about this guy during the draft process was his motor. Of course, I loved his skills, but he plays hard on every down. And that motor on full display there as he gets his first NFL sack. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. 
out of the gun. They'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Townsend. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Now here's a whistle as flags come in. And we'll check out the call. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the false start. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Back to throw. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. A third quarter now to one-point game as they line up second and ten. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Well, it took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. They'll look to throw again. And he is caught. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. That'll put him up over 160 yards receiving now for the game. They can't seem to stop him. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Laundry on the field. This is going to be a false start on the offense. Sometimes you have to slow things down a little bit when things get heated. The cadence has to be slow and deliberate at times to make sure your team's ready to go. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Over the middle, completes this to Ward. Followed a gain of three on the play. And that'll bring up second down. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. And we've got a dandy here. A one-point game as we begin the fourth. On second down now. It's more. A strong broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground just shy of the 15. They'll come up facing third and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Moore. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to get the lead up to four. And this one is right through. And that'll move their lead up to four now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. What an opening weekend it's been already. Could the best finish be coming here on Sunday night? We'll find out as we come up on a first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Back to throw. 
Smart. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. The offense on third down tonight, just a 20% success rate at two of ten. This is third and seven. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well, and every now and then, they don't come down with the football. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. Taken in at the 22. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Going down the middle, and it's complete. Still going. And all the way in for the touchdown. A great effort there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Golden Eagles are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Extra point right down the middle, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense, from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Buenos Aires is about set for another try on offense. And yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. First down. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. On first and 10, smart. Wide open receiver complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Another nice game. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Ball start. Awesome. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. Now a handoff up the middle. Bright. But well, obviously they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. To throw on second down. Smart. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Now third down and very long. Operating from the gun. Smart. And that will be incomplete. So it looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. 
Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And that's complete to Gates. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Third and two. Up the middle they go. It's Ward. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. They go play action here on first down. It's Dylan again. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. On play action, they'll throw. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Gates with a grab. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. They got to get to the 23 here on third. Back to throw again. He's got his target. That's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. His huge night, it just continues as he's now north of 200 yards receiving. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take look like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. On first down, it's Ward. Able to fight for about 40 yards there to the 13. 
Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold them up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. It'll be a gain of five, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop them here. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Golden Eagles are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. So, CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because, to me, they looked like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line-type situation. The 3-4, fine between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. We're going to Sari's offense back out now. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. On first down, Smart. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Now this throw caught left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Throwing on first down. Smart. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. On first and 10, Smart. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Looking to throw on second down, Smart. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Operating from the gun, smart. The throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And as a result, possession switches hands. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Second and 11. Well, partner, that'll do it. These week one primetime games, they always seem to have a little bit more electricity, a little more anticipation, a fun one tonight, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And partner, I love the word you just used there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the idea, get off to the start. Get off to a 1-0 start and get your season going. That could spark an excellent season for them. They've got that in their pocket now. So for Mexico City, not much to complain about here. They come in and steal a victory in a tough place to play on a Sunday night. And they will head back home next week.
Meanwhile, for Buenos Aires, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.